Hello folks and neighbors, friends and family and who else is listening to ours. Uh, here is Country Music News International and today on the show we present to you... Hi, my name is Taylor Hope. Taylor, it's the second time here on Country Music News International for you. So what happened since the last time we met each other? Well, you know, it's it's so great to be back here at CRS this year. Um, I've been doing a lot into at the end of 2017 since we saw you last. And um, I got to play a show at the Grand Ole Opry last year, so that was amazing. Um, I've just been performing a lot, I've been songwriting a lot, and I'm going to release a new single in a few weeks, so that's very exciting. How was it, or how did you get it on stage at the Grand Ole Opry? Um, it was the Ralph Stanley tribute um, for him, and it was just amazing meeting um, all the op artist and um, amazing especially to perform at the Grand Ole Opry it was just a dream come true so what's the next dream you want to be true I'm not really sure I mean I would love for this next um, single to go well of course I would love to also play at the Ryman and you know just keep chasing whatever happens and just my dreams so when we think about it that you start last year more or less your career and you are making big steps now in the music business. What do you think where you will be maybe next year? I'm not sure. I think a lot this year um, is going to happen for me with the single and stuff. I've been working with a lot of people on writing and I just think it's going to be a really great year. So. Fans like to know if you li are in the process to get out an album. Yes, we are looking into release um, an EP very soon, and as I said, this new single in a few weeks. So be ready for that. Okay. Well, so I don't know. Did we talk the last time about your favorite activities uh, when you have spare time? Um, I'm not sure if we talked about that last year, but I'd love to tell you some about them. So go ahead. Okay, I of course I love to do music. That's my you know dream and stuff. But I, I'm also just a regular 12 year old kid. I'm gonna be 13 in May. I go to a private school in Franklin, Tennessee. So I have a lot of friends and stuff. I love to swim and I like to play tennis and you know hang out with friends and my family. So how much time takes the music business of your time? Um. Well, you know, since I'm, I go to a private school, I'm looking into maybe doing homeschool in the future. But um, I get to do a lot of my music more, um, you know, I'm very excited now that I moved to Nashville this past summer. I've got to do a lot more since we moved. What do you think is typical teenager and what is not typical teenager by you? Um, well, I don't think not typically a teenager is that I do music kind of a, as a full-time thing um, as just about to turn 13. Um, and just, you know, and just me being a regular kid sometimes is just, I think it's pretty cool that I get to do both. I know it by myself. Um, as a teenager, I was one time really enthusiastic by what I'm doing and then I had a, a little hole where I was inside to say, ah, I don't want to do. So yeah. who pushed you out of the hole? Yourself or your parents or friends? Um, well, you know, I, I, I told you last year, I've, I've been singing since I was four and I've been playing guitar since I was eight and, you know, traveling different places since I was about nine. So, you know, it's just always been my dream and my parents have always been supportive of me and I thank them so much for, you know, taking me places to get to follow my dream. And I think a part of it's just me always wanting to never give up and just keep going. So, um, let's think about it just a little bit. When your music career is running as you want it, that means major deal, you get the next Grammys, CMA awards and anything else. Um, what is the dream which is running to this other dream? Um. Well, you know, I just, I just love to be someday, of course, just, you know, a country artist. I mean, I've, it's just been a great past year meeting a lot of people. It's just, it's just been amazing. So just anything that comes my way, of course, like a record deal or anything would just be truly a dream come true. Okay. Well, 
So what's now the best way that fans can keep up to date with you? Um, well, you can follow me under all social medias under Taylin Hope Music. And you can find all my music on taylinhopemusic.com. And as I said, um, this year very soon I will be releasing a new EP and a new single in a few weeks. So be looking out for that. So folks, you know what to do. Or you stay here on Country Music News International. We keep you posted with our daily newsletter. Don't forget, sign up for it.